remember when we work problems involving distance, rate, and time, we have a formula that we can always apply, which is distance is equal to rate times time. Here we have a problem where a tour bus starts from Memphis and heads for Miami at 50 miles per hour. Three hours later, a truck pursues the bus at a speed of 65 miles per hour. How long will it take the truck to catch the bus? Well, we read the problem over and we ask ourselves, okay, what, what information do we have in the problem right here? Well, we know that um, the bus is going at an average rate of 50 miles per hour and the truck is going at an average rate of 65 miles per hour. We don't know how long e either one of them, how long it takes for the truck to catch the bus, but um, we do know that the truck starts three hours after the bus has already left. And then it's asking us how long will it take the truck to catch the bus. So let's start by letting, let's let x equal the time the truck travels. Then when the truck catches the bus, the bus will have been gone three hours longer than the truck. So x plus 3 will be the time that the bus travels. Okay, so I'm, I'm setting, I'm letting x be equal to the thing we're asked for in the problem. How long does it take the truck to catch the bus? Well, that's the amount of time that the, that the truck travels. The bus will travel three hours longer than that because it takes off three hours earlier. Okay, let's set up a table here to sort of organize our information. So I'm going to write, do a little table here with some rows in it. And over here I'm going to have, um, the rate. And then I'm going to have the time, and then I'm going to have distance. And I have two things that are traveling. One is the bus, and then the other is the truck. Okay, so what I want to do is try to fill in this table right here, some of it using the numbers that are given me in the problem, and then other little boxes here in the table I'm going to fill in using the fact that distance is equal to rate times time. So let's see what we have. The bus travels at an average speed of 50 miles per hour. So that's the rate that the bus travels, 50 miles per hour. The truck travels at 65 miles per hour. Okay, I've said that the amount of time the bus takes, um, the amount of time the bus travels before the truck overtakes it is x plus 3, and the amount of time the truck takes uh, to overtake the bus is x. Okay, so I have all these filled in, and then over here I want to fill in the distance that each has gone, and I know that distance is equal to rate times time. So I'll simply multiply these two items, and I'll have the distance that the bus travels before the truck overtakes it. I'll multiply these two items, and I'll have the distance that the truck travels before it overtakes the bus. Okay, they both leave from the same point, one leaves earlier than the other one, and then at some point the truck and the bus, uh, the truck overtakes the bus, and at that point they both been, they both traveled the same distance. So to set up an equation for this, what I have is that this distance here is equal to this distance here. Let's write that down. 50 times x plus 3, the distance that the bus travels must be equal to the distance that the truck travels at the point where the truck overtakes the bus. Now, simple equation to solve. I'll multiply out here. 50x, 50 times 3 is 150, is equal to 65x. I'll add negative 50 to each side and get 150 is equal to 15x. Then I'll divide both sides by 15, and I'll end up with 10 is equal to x. So x equal 10 is, what did I say up here? Let x equal the time that the truck travels. So x equal 10 stands for 10 hours, the amount of time it takes for the truck to overtake the bus. So what I'm going to write up here for the answer to my problem is 10 hours for the truck to catch the bus. 
So I want to somehow write out my answers in a kind of par- in a kind of sentence form here, so that I know that instead I'm not just solving this equation. X equal 10 means something in the original words of the problem, and in this case, X equal 10 means that it takes 10 hours for the truck to overtake the bus.